Howdy. <clears throat> Every Easter, um, I think about this, and it's as if I shot the sacred cow when I say anything about it. So, <clears throat> what I'm going to try to do is explain this in a very short clip here. Um, <clears throat> Easter, we're talking about. The, the, the word Easter is used one time in the Bible. It is in uh, Acts chapter 12, verse 4. We're going to read this section. Uh, it, but that one time it's it's used, the word Easter, and all of those perversions down there change that word Easter to Passover. Um, I'm going to explain why that's an error. Um, <clears throat> let's read here. Acts chapter 4. <clears throat> and about that time Herod the king stretched forth his, his hands to vex certain of the church. And he killed James, the brother of John, with the sword. And because he saw it pleased the Jews, he pursued, proceeded further to take Peter also. Then were the days of unleavened bread. And when he had apprehended him, he put him in prison and delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers uh, to keep him, intending after Easter to bring him forth to the people. So, <clears throat> the feast days, unleavened bread, was before Easter. Now, those, that was the Passover. Um, so, what we're going to do here see is jump we're going to compare spiritual things with spiritual and we're going to go to the old testament and we're going to reference this now easter was after the days of unleavened bread keep that in mind okay now let's keep reading here <clears throat> i'm going to jump to exodus uh, 12 and the lord spake unto verse 1 and the lord spake unto moses and aaron in the land of egypt saying this month shall be unto you the beginning of months it shall be the first month of the year to you Speak ye unto all the congregation of Israel, saying, In the tenth day of this month they shall take to them every man a lamb, according to the house of their fathers, a lamb for an house. And if the household be too little for the lamb, let him and his neighbor next unto his house take it according to the number of, of the souls. Every man according to his eating shall make your count for the lamb. Your lamb shall be without blemish, the male of the first year. You shall take it out from the sheep or from the goats. You shall keep it until the fourteenth day of the same month, and the whole assembly of the congregation of Israel shall kill it in the evening. And they shall take of the blood and strike it on the two side posts and on the upper po door post of the houses wherein they shall eat it in the form of a cross, foreshadowing Jesus Christ. And they shall eat with the flesh in that night, roast with fire and unleavened bread, and with bitter herbs they shall eat it. Eat not of it raw, nor sodden at all with water, but roast with fire, his head and his legs with pertinence thereof. And ye shall let nothing of it remain until the morning, and that which remaineth of it until the morning ye shall burn with fire. And thus ye shall eat it with uh, your loins girded, your sho shoes on your feet, and your staff in your hand, and ye shall eat it in haste. It is the Lord's Passover. Okay? For I will pass through the land of Egypt this night, and I will smite all the firstborn of the land of Egypt, both man and beast, and against all the gods of Egypt, Egypt I will execute judgment. I am, and against all the gods of Egypt I will execute judgment. I am the Lord. And the blood shall be to you for a token upon the houses that ye, that ye are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. And the plague shall not be upon you to destroy you when I smite the land of Egypt. So we had the, the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Here's the Passover. Okay. So the feast came before the Passover. And this day shall be unto you for a memorial. And ye shall keep it a feast unto the Lord throughout your generations. Ye shall keep it a feast by an ordinance forever. Seven days you shall eat unleavened bread, even to the first day you shall put it away, put away leaven out of your houses, for whosoever eateth leavened bread for the fir from, the fir from the first day until the seventh day, that soul shall be cut off from Israel. And in the first day, and he's just kind of go, re going over this once more, and in the first day there shall be no, be an holy convocation, and in the seventh day there shall be an holy convocation to you. No manner of work shall be done in them, save that which every man must uh, must eat, that only may be done of you. And when ye shall observe the feast of unleavened bread, for in this selfsame day have I brought your armies out of the land of Egypt, therefore shall ye observe this, 
this day to your generations by an ordinance forever. In the first month on the fourteenth day of the month at even, you shall eat unleavened bread until the one and twentieth day of the month at even. Seven days shall there be no leaven found in your houses, for whatsoever eateth that which is leavened, even, see, leaven it was sin. That was what it represented, you know, to God. Even that soul shall be cut off from the congregation of Israel, whether he be a stranger or born in the land. Ye shall eat nothing leavened in your habitations, shall ye eat unleavened bread. So, now, okay, we, we just go through, this is again comparing spiritual things with spiritual. This can also be found in Second Chronicles and the book of Ezra, or uh, yeah, Ezra, there's uh, Deuteronomy's got some. Um, you can do your own digging, do your do your own studying. Numbers 28, <clears throat> verses 16 and 17 says, And in the fourteenth day of the first month is the Passover of the Lord. And in the fifteenth day of this month is the feast. Seven days shall unleavened bread be eaten. How You can't get any plainer than that. That's two verses. It just, it spells it all out for you. Okay, some real quick points here, all right? The Passover was at night on the 14th day of the of April. Okay, this seven days of unleavened bread always followed Passover. The pagan festival of Easter was always held late in April to celebrate regenerating, rebirth, three uh, uh, you know rabbits, playboy, fertility, that kind of thing. Okay, and th those symbols were always used for the pagan holiday of Easter. The feast. Um, Peter was arrested during the days of unleavened bread after Passover. Herod wanted to kill him during his own pagan festival of Easter coming up in a few days. That Bible, the King James Bible, is the only version to get it right. And every version before that, which was the Wycliffe Bible, the Tyndale Bible, Coverdale, the Great Bible, or the Chain Bible, uh, the Geneva Bible, the Bishop's Bible, and, of course, lastly, the King James. It hasn't, hasn't moved from that. Um King James is the only one to get it right. If you want a Bible that is perfect, 100% perfect, infallible, stick with the King James. Love you guys. Have a great rest of the day. Bye.